in. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. My people. Uh -huh. Whatever that you do. Uh -huh. Whatever that you are doing. Uh -huh. If you are a content creator, keep doing that. If you are a basketball player, keep playing your basketball. If you are a musician, bruh, keep recording songs. If you are a soccer player, bruh, still play your soccer because your true happiness or your true joy, it comes from doing those things. I'm gonna repeat that again. Your true happiness, your true joy, it comes from you doing whatever that you are doing. It does not come from a girl. It does not come from money. There are some stuff money cannot buy, like your purpose, like your happiness. Are y'all with me? So whatever that you're doing, if you are a content creator, you are a basketball player, you go to the gym, you walk out, keep doing that because your true happiness, it comes from that. Are y'all with me? Now, I had that in my chest. I had the message. I gave it to y'all. Let's go to the topic. Today's topic is when you bust a nut, you are releasing your wealth. When you release your seed, you are releasing your riches. Are y'all with me? Stay with me. Now, your sperm or your seed or your semen, it connects you to your ancestors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that again because I think I was going too fast. Your sperm, your seed, your semen, it connects you to your ancestors. Now, your great, 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 great father back then, he was a wealthy man. He had money. He had gold. He had diamond. He had ships. He had asses. He had everything. But he passed away. Your grandma, back then, she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Your grandma, she had everything. She passed away. She left it. Are y'all with me? Because you cannot take it with you when you die. Now, before they had those wealth in the physical, it already happened in the spiritual. Before anything come here in the physical, it already happened in the spiritual. Stay with me. So you, you holding on to the seed or your sperm, it connects you or it gives you access to your ancestors' money or to your ancestors' wealth. Stay with me. Now, the day you came on this earth, you came here with money. I'm going to repeat that again. I think I was going too fast. The day, you were, the day you were born, you came here with money. You came here with diamonds. You came here with gold. You came here with everything. And these things, this wealth, you got it from your ancestors in the spiritual realm. Continue. The Bible talks about angels. Those angels, those are your ancestors. They watch over you. They protect you. When you bust a nut, you keep them away. You hold on to the seed, you keep them with you. Everything that you need, they give it to you. That's some heavy stuff. I'm not going to touch on that. I'm going to talk about that later on. But I want you to stay with me. Now, for some of your brothers, you guys are what we call homemongers, according to the Bible. In the world, they call it a player. You are a player or you are a ladies man. Stay with me. You got women, right? There are some women. You don't even have to take them on a date just like that. You can have them just like that you can sleep with them because you're the man you got games right stay with me <sighs> one day you get up in the morning you are like this the man you get the morning wood you call one of your girls she came over you blow her back out after that she took off you didn't feed her you didn't pay her right in your mind you think you did not pay her in the physical but in the spiritual realm you have paid her because you have money in the spiritual realm. That money is connected to your sperm. It's connected to your seed. You get, you get it from your family trees or your ancestors, your great, 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 great grandparents. So when you slept with her, you released. Because every time when you released, you are releasing money. Remember I mentioned whatever happened in the physical, it already happened in the spiritual. Now, you have released that spiritual money with that girl. You did not pay her in the physical. That girl, she goes home. Mistakenly, she found a job and she's making so much money. That what there is happening in the physical. But before it happened in the, in the physical, it already happened in the spiritual. You gave her money, spiritual money. That's why she got a job. The reason she, she got a job is because you bust inside of her or you released after you had sex with her. Stay with me. Now, you, when you release that spiritual money, right? 
because you release money and you 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 have released money when you release that seed it happened in the spiritual realm now it's gonna happen in the physical realm let me explain for some of your brothers you have a job you have been working for three years you have been working for four years as soon as money comes it goes as soon as you get paid money goes you don't understand what's going on bro when you release that seed you are releasing your spiritual money when you keep that seed you are keeping your spiritual money when you keep the spiritual money in the physical in the physical realm when you get paid you will have the ability to hold on to that money stay with me now when you hold on to your seed, you practice semi retention. You go for three, you go for like you go for like three months, or you go for like six months, nine months, or twelve months. I guarantee you, you will have money. Why will you have money? Because you are holding on to your spiritual money. Right now, I'm practicing semi retention. I'm not here to boast. I'm not here to brag. Hey, I got money. No, no, no. I don't have too much money, like physically. But I have spiritual money. Also, because I'm practicing semi retention, I'm keeping my wealth. The money that comes to me, the money that I go to work, like when I go, when I go to work, I work, I get paid every week. I have the ability to keep that money. And in other words, to save some money. Back then, when I was a kuma, when I used to release, bro, as soon as I get, as soon as I get paid, money come, it goes. Are y'all with me? That will happen to you if you are consistently busting the nut consistently releasing the seed you will become poor physically because you are poor spiritually the money that you have access to your spiritual money the family tree money the money you're getting from your ancestors your great 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 grandfathers because you are connected to that money in the spiritual realm if you bust you are losing that money are y'all with me this is why this is why when it comes to semi retention, if you want to have money, it's not just about money. Bro, semi retention is all about self improvement. Semi retention is all about being your best version. You get what I'm saying? So hold on to the seed, bro. Do not release it because every time when you release it, you are releasing your spiritual money. Bro, there are some people, they don't work too much. This dude, <laughs> he doesn't work too much, but he got money. He always got money. And you, you're doing overtime like a damn slave every day. But you don't even have $100 in your account. You don't even have $500 in your saving account. I'm telling y'all, this is a spiritual thing. This world, it is a spiritual. Hold on to your seat and tap into the spiritual realm, bro. And tap in to your spiritual money. Are y'all with me? Now, I want to say to all my subscribers and also to, my, to all my new subscribers, my job is to teach you. My job is to give you understanding and wisdom about this journey so you get to hold on to your seed for a long period of time. Semi retention, we do not just do it for life. Now, if you want to do that, hey, that's up to you. But one thing I know when it comes to semi retention, there will come a time we have to release the seed because we have to procreate. You know what I'm saying? There will come a time we have to go out there, get a wife, and start a family. But when it comes to no fap, when it comes to no porn, no masturbation, that's forever. We do not watch porn. We do not masturbate. Are y'all with me? We do not fornicate either. Now, this is what I got for today. I left my cash in the description. I also got my PayPal here. Donate, like, share, subscribe. Peace. I know. But you know I'm not a rapper. Papi kuka pesa tala sima te Sku! Azo raya pesa pesa tala te Sku! Sku! Papi kuka pesa pesa tala te as a royal present, I see my day. Bo, bo, bo. Just like a bird, <laughs> flying so high, you and I, we not the same. I've been on a righteous path, I think I'm going the same. I've been climbing trees on top of tree like Tarzan. We don't do no zen, no, we don't smoke no gas. No, can't you see me? Yeah, yeah, you know I'm in my bag. 